Hi guys, um, today is a big day on my channel because I don't think I have ever done so large a haul. I have going on 20 books to show you. Like I mentioned in my vlog, it was my birthday recently, so a few of these were birthday presents and then because my family know me so well and are incredibly kind, I got a lot of book vouchers, so I have then spent most of those as well, um, which means some more books. And then there's also just a few other books I picked up before my birthday or um, were given to me, but not birthday presents. Let's start with a few books I bought myself pre-birthday. Um, there are two here that were gifts to myself for getting accepted um, to do a postgraduate, so I thought I would treat myself to books, obviously, and these are what I got. I got Frenchman's Creek by Daphne du Maurier. The reason I bought this is um, Mercedes from Mercy's Bookish Musings review, which just made it sound absolutely wonderful and I couldn't get it off my mind. From what I gather, this is a romance between a woman and a pirate. I then bought myself the saga of Volsangs. Um, Penguin came out with these really lovely editions, I believe, last year, um, which is called the Legends and Myths from the Ancient North collection of like Anglo-Saxon ancient myths. Which I then got myself a second-hand copy of Courtesans and Fish Cakes, The Consuming Passions of Classical Athens by James Davidson. Um, this is just a piece of non-fiction ancient history about the sort of luxuries and everyday life of um, Athenian citizens and um, yeah. Um, I've heard really good things from about this book throughout my course and um, I just thought it would be a good one to read during the summer. Sana from Books and Quills was also nice enough to send me this book from Hockey Books um, called Heap House which I had added to my um, to read list after seeing her mention it and I think it was her favourite books of um, 2013 and it just sounded really lovely. It's a children's book about a boy that collects things from rubbish dumps. Um, during the Victorian period, I believe. Um, so I'm really excited again to read this. Um, and it's got really lovely illustrations. More adult books should be illustrated. So yeah, it's got lots of portraits in it um, of all the characters I imagine and the people they're coming into contact with. Then a few books I did actually receive as gifts for my birthday, um, and that includes The Elder Ada, another from the Myths and Legend Penguin series, which was from my flatmates, which was incredibly kind of them. This one um, is about Viking myths and I, really excited to read some non-Marvel <laughs> Thor and Loki stories. Two books that my parents bought me on request, which was really kind of them, in, were The Enchanter by Vladimir Nabokov. Um, I have yet to read any Vladimir Nabokov and I know Lolita is his sort of most highly regarded or at least most chatted about on YouTube. Um, but I didn't think I was quite ready to read that book. Um, this book is in a similar vein. It is also about paedophilia and it, it says that it's written in a very similar style on the back but it's a lot shorter and it was written before Lolita so I thought this might give me a good sort of introduction to his writing style and also prepare me for the contents of Lolita and help me decide whether I want to read that one. Um, I also just adore these covers of Vladimir Nabokov's works and um, I think the whole collection comes like this um, and they are again from Penguin and they're just Stunning. They also got me Therese Requin by Emile Zola. Um, this is a new edition and again it is just stunning. Um, my friend um, Magdalena raved about this book and said that I should read it. It's a gothic um, 19th century story. Uh, not exactly sure what happens in it because I haven't read it but very excited to and yeah sounds sounds like something I'll really enjoy. I then received some gifts from a very, very, very kind subscriber who um, went on my Amazon wishlist and sent me some graphic novels to say congratulations on handing in my dissertation um, and I need to say thank you so much for these. Um, um, he sent me the first three volumes of Sandman by Neil Gaiman, which I have been wanting to read for the longest time. Um, you signed your name as Nemo, so I'll, I will say thank you Nemo, although it does also say Harold, um, so I'm not sure how I should address you, but I am incredibly grateful. I was not expecting this. That was so nice of you. If you want to message me um, and I can like message you back to say thank you like personally, that would be nice. Um, yeah, I'm just absolutely blown away, um, especially since I hadn't mentioned that I had a public Amazon wishlist in a video before. It is linked in my About Me section, um, but I hadn't mentioned it, so that was just 
I don't know, it really blew me away and I came home to find these on the day that I handed in my last essay um, and it just sort of just improved my entire day, it was just it was just fantastic um, so thank you so much and I will get to these very soon Okay, so like I said, I also got some book vouchers which meant I obviously took myself to Blackwell's and Watterson's on a couple of occasions and spent most of them First things first, I got the Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Um, I got this really shiny gold edition. I really like these and I want all three like this because the next one's like a shiny red and then a shiny platinum. And then I want them all in the shiny covers. I like these. Um, yeah, I haven't read Hunger Games. Sorry. But I am in fact halfway through it just now and really enjoying it. I, I watched the films um, maybe a fortnight ago or three weeks ago with my mum and I really, really enjoyed them. And I just decided do you know what? I'm going to read the book so I can find out what happens and don't have to wait for the next two films. Um, because I want Peter and Katniss kind of together. And I need to know. Then, something slightly different from YA Dystopian, I got uh, Pindar the Complete Odes, um, the Oxford World Classic Edition. Um, like it, like, like the, the title implies, this is just a collection of odes by Pindar, um, retelling a lot of myths. Um, I've read a few of them before, particularly the Jason and Medea one, but um, I'm really excited to consume the whole collection. I then got Shirley Jackson's The Sundial. Um, I have collected almost all of her books yet, but I've still only read three, so I, I need to read more, but I'm really excited for this one. The plot reminds me, the, the sound of the plot reminds me of The Haunting of Hill House. Um, I think it's a bit like of a ghost story, a mystery, um, and I am incredibly excited to read this. I then picked up The House of Silk by Anthony Horowitz and this is a Sherlock Holmes novel that he has written. Um, I do actually really enjoy re reading retellings of Sherlock Holmes stories and new Sherlock Holmes stories that have been written um, sort of in the past couple of decades um, purely because I have read and reread all of the originals and it's always nice to have a new mystery and I am a massive fan. I treated myself to a book that I've wanted for ages but didn't really want to send £15 on. But since I had a book voucher I felt like this was the prime time to buy it and it is Card Captors Omnibus Book One. So it's huge. Um, I generally don't like spending money on manga because they're so small and you get through them so quickly and they're like seven or eight pounds but because this is an omnibus it's like so it's a bit more worth the money and um, not as quick to read obviously um, like me you might have watched card captors when you were a kid on television it was one of my, my all-time favorite cartoons at the time I kind of just considered it, but it is an anime and I watched the Japanese originals with subtitles when I was a bit older and there were some things that they changed in the English version which were a bit odd but um I'm super excited to actually read the original manga because um, I just love these stories and it's been a while since I came in contact with them so I think I'm ready to go back um, to one of my childhood favorites. Next I got Frog Music by Emma Donoghue. Um, I read two Emma Donoghue books last year and thoroughly enjoyed both of them and then when I saw that her new book was out and it had four pound off in Blackwell's, I, how could I resist? This is a late 19th century tale about exotic dancers and circuses and I'm sure lots of dark themes and um, that's what I, I have expected so far from Emma Donoghue's writing and you might have gathered from some of my other videos that I'm on quite a 19th century kick at the moment um, although I'm kind of starting to fade back into the fantasy realm but I'm really excited to read this because I know I really like Emma Donoghue's writing. And last but not least is Fables Volume 5 The Mean Season. I really really enjoyed Volume 4 and I have been holding back ordering Volume 5 because I don't have any money but because I had a book virtue, I was like, hey, finally, I can see what happens because it ended on quite a little um, surprise, little cliffhanger. And that is everything. Those are all the books I got. And hopefully I'll consume them all in the summer when I've got more free time. I did actually um, do a book swap with uh, Ramblings of an Elf Pyre and she sent me a lovely copy of Jane Eyre because I was saying I wanted a hard copy because I'd read it on my Kindle and she had two so we swapped a book. I had two copies of The Moonstone by Wilkie Collins and sent that to her. Um, I don't have it with me because my mum is reading it just now because I raved about it so much um, but thanks for doing the book swap with me. Um, Charlotte that was really really nice and I will link her channel down below. Time to sign off, this has been too long, bye, <laughs> I'll see you all soon.